Hey everybody, how are you today? I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're ready to be creative because I know I am. This video is sponsored by graphicstock.com and in the spirit of Graphic Stock's hashtag creator to creator initiative, we are going to try today to create something fabulous with some of the images from their website. Let me show you their web website really quick and then we're going to go over to the table. So this is graphicstock.com, a royalty free image website. Once you download them, you have them forever. You um, can do what you need, want to with them. Always when working with websites th like this though, I do recommend you check out the terms of service and give credit where credit is due. Say where you, that you got the images from Graphic Stock. It is $99 a year for access and they do have a seven day free trial period. That being said, let's log in and I'll show you a couple of my favorite places. But the photos section I love as a watercolorist and mixed media artist. I find tons of inspiration in the photo section, especially in this this part, nature and wildlife. Uh, I can't wait to paint some of these images and or use them in backgrounds and a grab and glue. Uh, there are really truly some wonderful images here. This is just like the first page of them. There are thousands of images on this website. Uh, they also have a really great yeah, here under illustrations, if you hit wa the watercolor. So I know a lot of you love the look of watercolor, but you don't watercolor. Look at all these fun watercolor backgrounds that you can download and use in your journals, some watercolor flowers and other images, and that's just the first page. You can hit load more, and look, there is a ton more. Can you see some of these uh, flower, watercolor flower prints printed on tags and things and put into your journals or sent out in happy mail. There's some really great images, so I do recommend you check out graphic, graphicstock.com. Let's head over to the table and see what we can make. Hey guys, all right, here we are back over at the table and we are gonna create something that I think is gonna be really, really interesting. I'm gonna grab a makeup sponge here and I've got a few random colors of paint on the table that I think we're gonna just use something that's out already. Maybe, a couple of stencils, and of course my images from Graphic Stock. Now one of the things you can do with the images from Graphic Stock that I thought was really interesting is print them out on some of these Avery sticker sheets. Because how much fun would these sticker sheets be? Um, they, this, this particular one is a round sticker sheet, but you can get them in squares and rectangles. How much fun would these be to just put on Happy Mail, put on an envelope, maybe you're sending out a birthday card, or to use in your art journal? I, I think there's some fabulous images here. Uh, it, I, yeah, I couldn't resist doing this. This isn't really what we're going to work on today, but the images were so pretty and they make such fun stickers. A and you never know, I might want to stick some of them on there. So I did that with a bunch of the images that I downloaded, again, all from graphic stock. And then look at these fun guys that I found. So these are some owl illustrations they have available on uh, graphic stock in different color themes on the website. This is just a scrap piece of paper I printed on. Of course, we're going to save that. Um, so I thought these owls were really cute. And we're going to cut a few of these out. How fun would these be in some of our grab and glue books? These would be fun um, em little embellishments. I want to use, I think, we're going to use a few of these. So let's just cut them apart. So I printed these on just plain white office supply card stock. Nothing special. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to take a few minutes. I'll do one on camera. I'm going to do the rest off camera. And I'm going to cut out a few of these owls. Fussy cut. These black and white ones would be really cute to just use as coloring book pages. They have a number of black and white images on graphic stock that would be great for that. That kind of the possibilities are endless, you know. Cutting around the feet like probably the hardest part. 
you could redraw the feet instead of cutting them out. I'm being lazy today. I don't want to be bothered with that. <laughs> Unless I totally cut the feet out poorly, but we'll see. There we go. So we're going to cut a few of these owls out. I'm going to pick a few to go on my page and I'll be right back.
Okay, there you have it. It is still wet, but I will tell you when I saw these owls on graphic stock, I knew they had to be a journal page. I just knew it. And I did print out enough extras that they probably will show up at some point in my grab and glue books. I hope you've all had enough um, ideas, fun, and inspiration with this, as, at least as much as I have. Uh, it's a really wonderful website. I encourage you to take a look at it. They do have a seven day free trial and you get unlimited access to downloads of over 350,000 images. Okay, that's a lot of images. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a lot of images. All right, so check out, check out their link in the description below, along with the links to my Facebook page and all of that other stuff. Check out the description below. It's got a lot of important information in it. If you create something special using graphic stock, stock images, please use the hashtag that you see in this video and that you see in the description, hashtag creator to creator. We would love to see what you're doing. Don't forget the most important thing, everybody, besides visiting gra graphic stock and checking out what they have available. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Don't forget about the power of color. That's it for today. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.